Today we have brought you updates regarding the new Model Y 2.0 that will be equipped with 4680 battery cells and production update on the 4680 battery cells. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has confirmed that it still is on track to manufacture the Model Y crossover at both the Giga Texas and Giga Berlin plants in 2021, as construction at both facilities continues. Additionally, the news confirmed that the Cybertruck is taking a backseat to the Model Y, ending speculation of what vehicle Tesla would manufacture first at its Texas-based production plant. After Tesla announced that it would be building its second automotive manufacturing facility in the United States, just outside of Austin, Texas, CEO Elon Musk confirmed the plant would be home to Model Y and Cybertruck production. Among other vehicles that will also be produced at the plant, the long-awaited anticipation for Tesla's first pickup and updates regarding increased production of its overwhelmingly popular crossover took center stage. For months, Tesla enthusiasts wondered one thing, would Elon Musk prioritize the mass-market all-electric crossover Model Y, or would he begin chipping away at the 1 million-plus reservation list for the futuristic and unique Cybertruck? Tesla gave its answer in the Q2 2021 earnings call update letter, where it detailed that the Model Y will take priority in Texas and Berlin. The automaker dove into the developments but didn't give much detail into the decision-making process. We believe we remain on track to build our first Model Y vehicles in Berlin and Austin in 2021, the company wrote. The pace of the respective production ramps will be influenced by the successful introduction of many new product and manufacturing technologies, ongoing supply chain-related challenges, and regional permitting. Tesla's Texas plant is set to become the largest manufacturing facility in the United States, overtaking the massive Kia assembly plant in West Point, Georgia, upon completion. Although, neither Tesla nor Elon Musk have revealed details about Giga Texas's potential production capacity. The site is monumentally larger than Fremont, which has a capacity of 600,000 cars annually. It wouldn't be a surprise if Tesla could double its total manufacturing capacity with Giga Texas alone. It appears that the bottleneck related to Cybertruck production may be related to industrialization. Elon Musk has stated in the past that Tesla has finalized the Cybertruck's design, but its materials and suppliers may still be up in the air. Tesla wrote, we are also making progress on the industrialization of Cybertruck, which is currently planned for Austin production, subsequent to Model Y. Tesla's plans to begin production by the end of 2021 at both new facilities should be a massive advantage for the automaker moving into 2022. While other companies continue to ramp their introductory electric models, Tesla will be eclipsing an annual production rate of 2 million vehicles, as current projections place the automaker at roughly 1,050,000 units a year. Although, the Cybertruck won't be the first vehicle to roll off production lines in Texas, it will be ready shortly after. Moving to the next update, Tesla has finally updated about the development of its 4680 battery cells, giving new details regarding the development and performance of the new chemistry and additional details about the structural battery pack and how it is performing in crash tests. Unveiled at Tesla Battery Day in September 2020, the 4680 battery cell is set to be arguably the most crucial technological development in the company's mission to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. Tesla said that it has successfully proven the performance and lifetime of the new cell through rigorous testing processes. As of right now, the only thing that remains is ironing out the manufacturing processes of the cell, which continue to plague Tesla's production output. The company said, we have successfully validated performance and lifetime of our 4680 cells produced at our Cato facility in California. We are nearing the end of manufacturing validation at Cato, field quality and yield are at viable levels, 
and our focus is now on improving the 10% of manufacturing processes that currently bottleneck production output. While substantial progress has been made, we still have work ahead of us before we can achieve volume production. The cell's development is evidently coming along great, according to the automaker's analysis. The cell is set to be utilized in the Model Y, produced at Giga Texas and Giga Berlin. Both facilities are set to begin manufacturing the all-electric crossover later this year. Finally, Tesla also shed more light on the development of the 4680 structural battery pack. Tesla outlined details on this at its Battery Day event as well, stating that the battery pack would be a part of the vehicle's increased strength and rigidity. It all came down to design. The non-cell portion of the battery has negative mass, Elon Musk said. We saved more mass in the rest of the vehicle than in the non-cell portion of the battery. So how do you really minimize the mass of the battery? Make it negative. The design increased structural rigidity and stiffness, preventing deformation in the event of a crash. However, testing needed to be performed, and Tesla is doing it in-house. The company stated, internal crash testing of our structural pack architecture with a single-piece front casting has been successful. So with all the testing conducted successfully, we can hope that Tesla will start its mass production soon. And, with 4680 batteries coming out in huge numbers, it will accelerate the Model Y's production at Giga Berlin and Giga Austin. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.